Hello, everybody. My name is Minghui from Alibaba Group. I'm really happy to be here to present our study on cross-domain knowledge distillation for retrieval-based question-answering systems. This is joint study with Chen Chen, Wang Chen Yu, Gao Hong, Jin Lingbo, and Wang Ling from Ant Group and Ant Alibaba Group. Nowadays, we are witnessing the rising of concession assistance for many real-world applications. For example, we have uh, Apple Siri, uh, Google Assistant, uh, Microsoft Container, um, and Amazon Alaska. In Alibaba, we also have Alimi um, Assistant for taking care of customer questions. The key technologies uh, among all these kinds of concession assistance is, is to uh, build question-answering systems. The retrieval-based uh, question-answering method has been widely used for building question-answering systems. The essential task here is to retrieve an answer from a knowledge base for a given query. Then here we assume to have um, question-answering pairs in our knowledge base. Then for each given query, we use text matching method to find the question that is most that is closest to the query. And we fetch the corresponding answer. However, when dealing with such text matching problems in real world industrial industrial QA applications, we are facing two prominent challenges. First, um, we need abundant data to learn a good model with high accuracy. Uh, second, we need a high inference speed for online model serving, because for for each user query, we need to answer answer the query as soon as possible. There are generally two types of methods to deal with the requirements of abundant data for building real-world applications. First, we can leverage transfer learning to learn knowledge from multiple domains to help the target domain. Second, we can use a knowledge distillation method to dis distill knowledge from a large pre-trained model to a small, teacher, a small student model to facilitate fast uh, online serving. In this study, we seek to combine these type, two types of methods to facilitate cross-domain knowledge transfer with effective performance and efficient model serving. So the, basic, the key idea is to distill knowledge from multiple domain teachers to a small target model. Then in this case, we can make sure that the target model learns cross-domain knowledge to improve its performance and also keep the target domain to be small and efficient to facilitate to facilitate fast online model serving. Here is an overview of our proposed method. Uh, our proposed method is called Domain Aware Knowledge Distillation Framework. We seek to use this framework to deal with um, learning from uh, heterogeneous teachers. And these teachers uh, are with distance aware guidance. Uh, they can be uh, either in domain or out of domain. Then the student model seeks to leverage both the dark knowledge, for example, uh, the softened outputs and the intermediate hints from the teachers during the distillation process. More specifically, the domain expertise is taken into consideration when distilling the dark knowledge um, and the intermediate hints are adaptively transferred with feature transformation. We train our method uh, according to the following laws. And this loss considers three parts, uh, target domain classification loss, feature adaptation loss, knowledge distillation loss. The, do the target domain classification loss help us to uh, learn a good model according to target, um, target domain labels. And the feature adaptation loss help us to uh, examine the difference between the teacher model and student model. The knowledge distillation part uh, considers uh, learning from the uh, target teacher, uh, learning from multiple teachers to help the target domain. And also we consider domain expertise to measure the domain differences. In this study, we follow the previous work on retrieval-based question-answer system and conduct extensive experiments on two frequently used text matching tasks. The first task is 
called uh, paraphrase identification, and the second is uh, natural language inference. The uh, paraphrase identification task um, aims to examine uh, whether two texts have the same meaning. We treat the, the query question pairs um, as a source domain and the, the CICAM data set as a target domain. And for uh, natural language inferences, it is a task to determine the relation between the sentence pair, um, for example, uh, entailment, uh, contradiction, uh, neutral between two uh, sentence pairs. Here we use the multi NRI as the source and the setail as the target domain. We compare our methods with typical transfer learning and large distillation methods. First, we consider uh, the full shared uh, transfer learning method, which is a classic transfer learning method that utilizes a shared encoder to learn transferable representations from both source and target domain. Second, the shared private structure that extends the full shared mod model by incorporating domain private subnetwork. Third, we consider uh, the, the classic knowledge distillation method that utilizes the teacher guided knowledge where transferring only the dark knowledge. We compare uh, our DAKD uh, with this method on the single heterogeneous teacher setting. We have these observations. First, uh, the knowledge transferring is very helpful because without, because uh, regardless how the knowledge is transferred, all these methods, the FP, the FS, SP, and KD all outperform the base model without knowledge transferring. Um, and on all the data sets, our method DAKD consistently outperforms all the baselines by a large margin, uh, especially on the AUC matrix. Uh, which shows the effectiveness of the teacher-student paradigm on transferring knowledge with domain-aware uh, expertise. Unlike the vanilla KD, our, our proposed method is better, like, is better at adapting information from a heterogeneous source domain to help the model learning in a target domain. To help us get deeper insights on learning from heterogeneous teachers, we conduct experiments to compare the effectiveness of a vertical teacher trained by using all the five domain data in multi NRI versus five teachers trained separately by each domain data, denoted with single teacher and multi teacher respectively. As shown in this table, clearly, clearly both teacher settings boost the performance of the target domain. And the performance gain for uh, of multi-domain teachers for both KD and DAKD is larger than gain from a single teacher. The DAKD is more effective than KD when incorporating knowledge from multiple uh, cross-domain teachers. We speculate that exposing the student model to a diverse set of teachers can be beneficial in a similar way that the model ensemble benefits from multiple heterogeneous models. But first, studies may be required to better understand this phenomenon. Furthermore, we average the domain expertise score for all their instances and visualize the importance of different domains in this figure. We find the results are insightful. It reveals that the importance of heterogeneous teachers from different source domains to the target tasks. Um, so basically, we can we find we find that the domain setail is close to fiction and slate, but not close to telephone and government in uh, multi AI. This is intuitive, uh, as the setail data is created for multi choice science examinations, and uh, web sentences. So they are they are uh, they will be more close to fiction and slate. We have deployed our DAKD method in our chatbot engine in Alibaba under uh, three language scenarios, uh, for example, uh, English, uh, Russian, and Spanish. Um, the scenario is like this. For each, each user query, the chatbot engine will uh, retrieve the top, top 30 relevant questions, and our method is employed to find the most relevant question and fetch its corresponding answer as output. I've shown the results in this table. 
and we find that our method has better perform performance uh, in all these three application scenarios than online deployed methods. Meanwhile, the serving latency and throughput of our method are nearly identical to the previous online method. So this shows our method is both effective and efficient for this online application. In summary, in this study, we pro provide a new framework named Domain Aware Knowledge Distillation. Um, this framework uh, combines the advantage from both transfer learning and knowledge distillations to facilitate cross domain knowledge transfer learning uh, with uh, efficient model performance. We have conducted extensive experiments on two benchmark data sets and have shown the effectiveness of our methods. We have also deployed our method in an online production system and observed significant improvements. In the future, we seek to evaluate more tasks to um, examine the generalization power of our method.